thought it'd be fun to um, give a behind the scenes look at what a crowdsource campaign looks like from the campaign organizer's side in a very concrete way, live out there in the world. The example I'm gonna show you is in the um, city of Guadalajara in Mexico. It's a large city in Guadalajara and we're uh, providing the, the basis, the, the gather system for a group of nonprofits over there called Suidad para Todos, City, city for Everybody, um, who is, is like an umbrella collective of different nonprofits who are using crowdsourcing and a crowdsourcing app in particular as one key axis of, of how they both gather data and try to push for positive changes in Guadalajara. Um, they have a bunch of fantastic uh, initiatives. One of them that I think is worth mentioning or two. Um, so this includes a nonprofit which tries to improve the, the life of the citizen in terms of finding dangerous road spots, pollution, garbage, all the classic stuff. But then there's another organization which tries to protect trees and avoid trees being illegally cut down in the city. There's another smaller campaign called Tocino del Dia, which loosely translated means asshole of the day. And it's just a shaming campaign uh, showing whoever's parked in a disabled space or across three bike lanes or whatever else it is. Um, and uh, another, which I think is a beautiful campaign, uh, is called Multado. I think they've used it in different areas in different ways. But they just crowdsourced the activist portion of this campaign involved printing out something that looked like a parking ticket and again, for people who were parked in bike lanes or in uh, old or disabled spaces, they, approaching their car, they would see like, damn, I've got a ticket. But on getting there, they would see that in fact says, come on, uh, you know, you, you, you've, been, you've been virtually uh, fined. You know, let's all try and just be, be better citizens and take care of what needs to be taken care of in the city. So all these things have been gradually translated uh, over to gathering the crowdsourcing um, approach. Okay, well this will do. So this is what the, the back end of Tomala, the back end of Tomala looks like for the people running the campaign. You, the, they have a map of the city. This is for a report, uh, a part of the app to do with reporting broken pavement and street. Um, as you can see, the very basic thing they have, which is obvious, is just a nice map of the city with these different reports that have come in. Here, oh, who's calling me now? That's great. Um, so, and you can see here, which is kind of boring content, but it's something to bear in mind that very often the output of a, of a crowdsource campaign, it can be actions, but it's very often content. And that's, what, what are they going to pick? It's a pretty ghastly looking situation. Good report, that one. Go away. <laughs> and you also have a database which is completely structured and that's also a major objective of if you're going to run these uh, campaigns inviting people to contribute the real thing you're looking for or at least for, from our perspective as, as technologists is a structured database that you can then do things with because then you've got your pictures exactly where the reports happened when and you can ask questions like Show me, the, show me the list of people who haven't done any reports in the last 10 days, but initially did three of them, to do all the kind of magnificent, funky stuff you do in terms of engagement, but using the crowdsourcing activity, um, that, that participation as the, as the axis of doing that. By the way, if anyone has any, uh, feel free to, if you want to see different parts of the system, um, you have uh, the ability to publish out what's going on, so, in this case is a widget which you can embed into any other web page, giving basically a feed of as they happen um, reports. Again, they can see a map or you can allow, you can use that content as uh, rich content that's coming down. So all that someone who's running Tomala does, um, in this case, uh, the streets and city infrastructure campaigns, they just choose which campaign they, they, they're looking at. They create the app from inside the same admin very quickly, Gather enables you to create an app for this in an hour. You can make it much more pretty or less pretty, but, but it's extremely fast. It's more like creating a blog post. And once that's out there in the hands of the users, the, the, the trick is to use the content that's coming in. In this case, what Tomala do is they forward information to the authorities that need that information. So for broken lights, lights that are on during the day, 
garbage in the city, they forward that to the appropriate government institutions. And we really like that model, rather than building app infrastructure for city government. There's a, we're finding out there a much better relationship by having non-profits um, in, a, in a virtuous triangle between citizens, non-profits, and government. So the non-profits are more trusted with both the data and the ability to manage it, and they're able to use that data either to engage actively with the city in solving problems on an ongoing basis, but also to use that data for advocating more profound change if, if it's necessary to do so. Um, in terms of the time frame that can be achieved, I thought I'd quickly show you what it's like to make a campaign. Now that so in this case, we'll go green on this as well. So here's just a fun app being made in, in a couple of seconds for spotting celebrities. And what I've done is I've included a local celebrity, um, Dwayne, in the list, <laughs> along with Madonna and Miley Cyrus and people like that. So I just save that. And um, this gives an idea of how dynamic the system can be, that now when the user out there on the street is being asked to spot, in this case, not corruption or chemtrails. Um, you know, the crowdsourcing can be used for good or evil, or food fraud, so, oh no, I don't want chemtrails. I want the celebrities. So I'm gonna say that I've seen Dwayne. Is Dwayne here? Well, he's not here, but I'm gonna lie. It's another thing to deal with. I've, in, I've included in the campaign where it is, it's detected where I am, how sure am I, did I talk to him, I'll say yes. Whatever else it is, they want a picture to prove it. I'll take a quick pic of fake Dwayne. All right. So this is a typical uh, crowdsourcing thing, and that's why you're, you're really looking for a certain type of content. Um, I can add hashtags and things like that, I'm not gonna do that. And as you can see very clearly on my tiny mobile device from up there, it's got Facebook and Twitter integrated, which I've chosen to do also in the app. So when I submit that, um, and this is another thing to think about, is not either or with crowdsourcing and using the social media channels you may or may not already been using. Um, instead of asking for actions to be expressed or reported through social media channels, what a crowdsourcing platform enables you to do is get structured data, but you can still use the social media channels. So here I've got my map, there's Dwayne, along with Miley Cyrus and people like that. Let's go and look at the, at the data, which we'll refresh. And there he is. <laughs> Let's zoom in a little bit on this area. So he's been spotted in the correct place, that's fantastic. But also, I'm just going to skip back to my Facebook page, well, my fake Facebook page, the fake Dwayne. And we'll refresh that too. And it's, it's generated a, a tweet directly from the report. So it doesn't have to be uh, in competition that you're saying, can you please tweet about this and also report it to me in a formal fashion where I can then use the data for advocacy. Um, it's it, with Gather and with, with many systems, it's very possible to integrate those approaches and do, do spectacular things with structured data, which is what crowdsource data is all about, all about and also uh, dovetail with other portions of campaigns. So um, also very happy to take questions or if you want to come and talk to me afterwards about uh, approaching crowdsource app as, as part of what you do. Um, we'll be around for the rest of the day. Thank you.